Jonte Porter is uh, now banned for life from the NBA after it was revealed that he placed bets on the Raptors to lose. Um, and when you are a member of the Toronto Raptors, that seems to be a problem. So he is gone. Um, the what I've talked at length about this. If you're betting on your own games um, and it's to lose, or the, your totals to be under, like the, the, the NBA had no other recourse but to ban this guy for life. The one thing I will say... I find it endlessly fascinating that all the talk is, oh, well, you see, legalized gambling, you get in bed with these gambling partners, this is what's going to happen. I have said before, if you had internet, you've been able to gamble on sports for a really long time now. It, all these sp websites didn't just happen to have the infrastructure ready to handle a boatload of gambling all at once here and once it became legal. Um, th these have been things that have been going on for a really, really long time out on them internets. And I find it hilarious that people are like, well, now that it's legal to gamble, illegal gambling is going to start. Like, look, we could throw games here. We could really mess it up. No, 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 no. Let's wait for it to be legal. Let's not go do these bets off a uh, website in Switzerland or some shit like that. No, 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 no. We have to wait for gambling to be legalized before we start to do a illegal activity. I do, like, and look, I I've had a gambling sponsor on this website before, or sorry, on the uh, on this podcast before, um, and it, it just, I don't now, but th that is through, I don't think any animosity, it's just, you know, our terms didn't really work out, so that's fine. Um, but, like, I, I, I enjoy that aspect of sports quite a bit, and, uh, again, have for a long time, wink, wink, but I, so, like, a, a part of me is coming at this from a, a side of being, I don't want to say protective, but there's a bias here, like, I, I, I think that it is a huge part in the rise of, of the popularity of sport, not just in the last couple of years, mm -hmm. um, but, like, it's, it's, an aspect of it that I enjoy. And I understand that there are people who cannot enjoy it in moderation. And so being inundated with all of this would absolutely be a problem. Um, the same way that if you had a drinking problem, uh, having beer ads thrown at you all day would probably be a bit of a problem. Um, so, but the, the thing that I will say is that I wonder if because these leagues have these partnerships now, if the checks and balances are just even more whatever. Like if, if this happened 10, 15 years ago on some offshore account at a website that would probably give you viruses that ended your computer's life, um, I wonder I wonder if th there'd be the same flags going up in all this. Or because, because things are a little bit more legalized now and because these leagues have these partnerships with these websites and the, these gambling institutions, I wonder if it's easier for the red flags to go up. So... Um, I know a lot of people are going like ban gambling forever, and I'm I, I'm I'm going the opposite. It's like, oh no, the the, the thoughtful folks at the casino are, are the ones who saved the day, which is a weird stance to take, admittedly. But I I do think that these partnerships helped in this situation. I think in a a major major way.